This is going to be a quick video just showing you how to charge your batteries with the iMac B6AC charger. We're going to be focusing mainly on this 3S 1000mAh battery, but it's pretty much the same for other batteries. And we'll do charging and balance charging. Alright, so first thing, you just want to get your cord. And so for this one, this battery that we're going to charge is JST, so I've got the JST one and the banana plugs, I'm just going to plug them in to the plus and the minus is the black one and then we're going to plug the battery in so just plug it there and then you want to plug your balance port in which is this one and go into your three cell plug right there should be able to tell which one, it should fit pretty well alright, then we want to choose the correct battery so we don't have that one so you just press battery type and keep pressing it until it says lipo bat there we go lipo and you press start and then once you're on here you can see it's lipo charge and at the moment that's set up right but you press start and depending on the number of milliamp hours this one's 1000 you put on one but if you had a 1.4 battery like this one you could put it on 1.4 or 2200 one you put on 2.2 amps that's just the rate it's going to charge at which is safe for the battery 5000 one you put it all the way up to 5000 I mean 5 amps sorry and we're just going to be using this one so we'll put it back down to 1 so here you can change the number of cells but we've got a 3S battery so we're just going to put on 3S and hold in to start. Checks your battery to make sure you've selected the right number of cells. We have, so press enter. Now it's charging. You can see this battery is already fully charged because it's on 12.6 volts. And this bit here tells you the rate it's charging at. So it's charging at 0.1 amps because it's about to finish. This tells you it's a 3S LiPo just it's charging and how long it's been charging for, so 22 seconds and how many milliamp hours it's put in, so none at the moment because it's full alright, then if you press increase you can see the individual cell voltages so the cell 1 look, it's full now, so it's completely full but here you can see the cell voltages so cell 1, cell 2 and cell, cell 3 4.19, 4.20 and 4.19 4.2 is the full voltage, but 4.19 is close enough, so it stopped there automatically, and that's your battery full. If you go back, you can come back to LiPo charge, and you can press increase here, and it will change the mode. So you've got balance, fast charge, storage, discharge, charge again, and balance. So we'll look at this one. Balancing is when you use the balance port to charge it, and it balances individual cells to bring them all up to the same voltage. This is good if you use your quad and then go to charge your battery and find that your battery isn't quite balanced. You can check your cells and if it's not balanced you just put on balance charge and it'll balance them all out for you. Also it's good for your battery. It just takes a bit longer though so you might not want to do it every time but certainly every now and again it's good. So you just set it up the exact same for this battery so I press start, checks it again, and then does the same thing. You can see the cells. So that's it, that's how you balance charge your battery. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please leave a like rating and subscribe. And soon I'm going to be selling a mini 250 quadcopter, which will be 100% ready to fly with everything you need, including one of these chargers and a similar battery. Not these exact ones, they'll be brand new. If you're interested in this, please leave a comment down below and I can give you more details. Thanks for watching.